In this video, we will learn to use the Microsoft Authenticator app. So, let's get into it. First, download the app from the store and open it. Let's allow the notifications. Also, we must accept the privacy policy. You can send usage data to Microsoft here if you want. On this screen, you can either sign in with your account or click the skip or scan QR code buttons to use the app for other websites. If you sign in, your Microsoft account will be linked automatically and you can back up your codes to the cloud. However, this won't enable the two-factor authentication for your Microsoft account. We'll do that in a few seconds. I will sign in with my account. Lastly, it will ask if you want to enable autofill. This will save your passwords and fill them on websites. You can enable it here, but I'll leave it to Google. All right, we are all set now. If you signed in with your Microsoft account, you would have this account here. You can always add your Microsoft account in this menu. To enable the two-factor authentication for your Microsoft account, we'll open our account in a browser. Then we'll go to this security option. Next, we'll click on this third option. Here, it will ask me to approve from the app. This is because I'm signed in. If you're not, you must print a code you received on your mobile phone. Let's approve it. On the top, the two-factor authentication is turned off. Let's click on manage and click on next. Save this backup code to use when you don't have access to the app. Follow this quick setup here. Notice it did not ask for a code because I'm already signed in. Okay, that's done. From now on, it will ask you to verify every time you log in. Next, we'll add another website. I will enable two-factor authentication for my account on this website. First, I'll go to account settings where two-factor authentication is available. I'll click on this setup button. Then we'll choose the authenticator app option. You will see a QR code. In the app, click the plus sign and choose the third option. Let's allow the camera permission. If you are using the same mobile, you can click here and insert the key shown here. I will scan this QR code with my phone. Then we'll see the account added. We must open this account in the app and insert this code in this option here. Once that's done, the setup is complete. Now every time I sign in, I must insert this code from the app. The code refreshes every 30 seconds, which is great. Microsoft Authenticator can save your passwords. All these passwords are imported from another app, but you can tap here to add new, generate a secure password, and check your history. When you generate a password, you can set the password strength and add a note to help you remember. Click on an account to see the password information. You can also edit it by clicking here. Next, you can save your payment cards. Let's quickly add one. You can come back to see the card details at any time. We can also add addresses. The address field has options including the name, address and phone. You can come here to copy addresses and use them in other apps. Lastly, Microsoft Authenticator has the verified IDs feature. Some websites ask you to verify your identity. So you can scan the barcode and provide your documents through this app. This will ensure that your documents are safe and secure. Before we go, let's enable the backup. In the settings, you will find this option. This option will backup your account codes online. So if you lose your phone or the app, you can still access websites. However, you must save the backup code somewhere safe, which will help you log in to your Microsoft account if you lose this app. There are some other options here. You can import passwords from Chrome and other places. If you use Microsoft's autofill, you can check this to provide a pin every time it autofills. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Please share your feedback about the video below and take care.